From intense colors to long-lasting prints, urea is at the core of textile dyeing. Today, we're exploring how it's made, why it's essential, and whether sustainable alternatives can match its unique benefits. In 1828, German chemist Friedrich Wöhler made a landmark discovery by synthesizing urea in a lab from inorganic materials. This was the first time an organic compound was made outside of a living organism, proving that organic chemistry didn't only come from life. He named it urea, as it was originally isolated from urine, marking a turning point in chemistry. Modern urea production starts with ammonia and carbon dioxide, which react at high pressure to form an intermediate ammonium carbamate. This decomposes at around 180 degrees Celsius, yielding urea and water, making urea production efficient and relatively low cost. In textile dyeing, especially with reactive dyes on cotton, urea plays a crucial role by attracting and holding moisture, which helps dyes penetrate fibers more effectively. Without urea, colors would be dull and uneven, and dyeing would require more water increasing both costs and environmental impact. Scene 5. The Sustainability Challenge. Can urea be replaced? Urea is effective, but excessive nitrogen can contribute to environmental issues like waterway eutrophication. Research is underway to find alternatives that offer urea's benefits with a smaller footprint. Scene 6. Potential alternatives to urea in textile dyeing. Sustainable options. While urea is unique, certain compounds and methods are being explored to reduce its environmental impact or even replace it in some applications. Glycerin, derived from plant-based oils, can retain moisture similarly to urea, which helps dyes disperse across fibers. While it's not a one-to-one -one replacement, glycerin is promising for eco-friendly dyeing. Sodium gluconate helps dyes dissolve and distribute evenly, especially in alkaline conditions. It's biodegradable and can be a substitute in certain dyeing processes, though it doesn't fully replicate urea's moisture retention. Researchers are optimizing dyeing processes to use less urea or remove it altogether by controlling pH and temperature or introducing additives that enhance dye absorption and fixative effects. Scene 7, the future of urea in textiles. In summary, urea has a key role in vibrant, durable colors for textiles. As sustainability in textiles advances, scientists are working to find alternatives and reduce urea's environmental impact, bringing us closer to greener, more responsible textile production. Outro, call to action. For more insights into textile science and sustainable practices, hit subscribe and join us on the journey to a greener future.